Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> this is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like and subscribe button. Um, if you enjoy the reading, <laughs> keep in mind this is a general love reading. Some messages may or may not be for you. Take what fits, leave the rest. This is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. And personal reading link is in the description box below. Okay, Virgo, you're starting off with the coffin. Rest in peace, I'm a fur. <laughs> Endings, bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, and transition. All right, Virgo, awesome. Putting an end to something or something's ending in June, and it's for the betterment of you. Okay, let's see what else you've got. Clock, yeah, it's time. Virgo, I'm just hearing it's time to put an end to something here. Time to time to shut the door on the Grim Reaper, Virgo. Come on now. The relationship is over. No second chances. Give and transform your life. Or, I'm sorry, grow and transform your life. So if you're still holding on to a toxic relationship, which is the Grim Reaper, um, yeah, no second chances. Somebody's going to try and come back for second chances, but it looks like it was time and you, you know, drove the last nail in the coffin you're done that's it no more moving on okay let's see now listen if you are completely single and you don't have anyone you want to know if anyone's coming towards you go back to sunday's reading or well monday's reading the singles reading i upload them sunday evenings at 10 30 go back and listen to that i will uh, put a link in the description box below this video so you can go check that out okay but for now Virgo, it looks like some of you in June are like done. You are attracting romantic love and by enjoying your life right now fully. Okay, some of you have already put something like an end to something and you're just being reconfirming that for yourself in June. Like, oh wait, no, this is over. Okay, even if somebody reaches back out, this Grim Reaper energy, I they look like that cartoon. What was that like devil looking? Skeletor, <laughs> MF or some kind of Skeletor or something. I'm so 80s. Yeah. Look, this person might try to come in for a second chance, whoever that person is. Um, Virgo's like, you know what? I'm not even paying attention. I'm smelling my flowers. I'm trying on new fragrances and, and colognes or perfumes. I'm just living my life. I'm, you know, walking down the street. I see some flowers. I'm not even thinking about you anymore. I just have, listen. Virgo, that's your energy. And the rest of June, especially going into July, you know, you, you're looking pretty good here. You're, you're just like, ah, you know, I can finally stop and smell the roses. Okay, give a relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Some of you might have somebody new already that you're talking to. So you're going to give that a chance. Um... Yeah, and it also looks like, though, you know what, Virgo, this is kind of like, part of you maybe wanted to give it a chance here. You you might have a little reservation. Maybe you should work on it. But then you're like, but the roses. But life is, no, I'm freeing myself. I'm working on myself, okay? And I do feel like you might have somebody here that wants to try to give this, like, a chance. Try to make something work here. But they're coming in as a Grim Reaper. It's not even attractive. It's not even, like, worth it, it looks like. All right, let me see what this energy is here. Let me see. What the heck is going on here? Okay. So, yeah, Virgo, you're just, no. Looks like you're done. Looks like you called time on something or you put someone in time out and they want to try to work on the relationship and you're getting some space. Or you just kind of like, you maybe you blocked or you're just, you're not dealing. Okay. You're just not dealing. So, let's see. I don't know, Virgo. It looks like you're just really trying to get some get yourself back to homeostasis right okay so all right virgo so as far as this person goes yeah they've got the seven of wands so this person is like no they're gonna fight for it they want to fight for this relationship um they don't want you to be with anyone else because this is a card of like fighting back against competition if they think you have some competition or anybody else in your life or, the, or, or just the fact that you 
if you're not with them, then you could be with somebody else. So, yeah, this person is kind of, I don't know, they're just like, no, 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 you're not going anywhere. No, no, I don't want anyone else to come in and snatch you up. No, 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 no. Virgo's like, what are you talking about? I'm just smelling the roses. I'm just, you know, I'm just living. Somebody might be jealous or territorial, okay? Yeah, and they're trying to, ooh, I got the two of swords. Interesting. This person's going to come in like, okay, okay, you know, I'll, I'll do whatever. I'll make that compromise. I'll do whatever it takes here to make something work here. You know, it's like I intuitively know we're meant to be together. Virgo's like, mm-mm. That door shut, baby cakes. That door is shut. Or you forced me to shut that door, or I'm just shutting that door on my own. Yeah, look. Virgo. Virgo's doing like the cutoff here and just like, well, you know, you could just watch my ass as I'm walking out the door. <laughs> you know? Virgo, it looks like you're breaking a heart here. You got the three of swords. You're cutting something off for sure. Okay? And this person, um, they are uh, uh, cutting other people out here as well. Oh, I know what I need to do. I'm going to come in and connect with you. I'm, I'm changing my ways here. I'm starting a new chapter. I want us to have a new beginning. Start a new chapter. Okay, I know some of you do want to have that, but it looks like this whole month, at least from this June 19th going in through July, you're just like not talking to you. No, don't want the relationship. Not going to have it. No, just go about your way. Maybe they were like, maybe they did a cut off on you um, or they left, you know, or they did something, whatever the reason, it doesn't matter. It looks, it obviously, if you needed to cut a relationship off with somebody, obviously it was for a reason. It was for a good reason. Okay. So it looks to me like, you know, I do feel like this person is going to try to like be like, you know, I'm not talking to him anymore. I'm not talking to her anymore. Um, whoever those hims and hers are, <clears throat> whoever they are, you know, um, there's communication on the Internet um, or some kind of virtual communication you might get. Maybe this person and you um, are worlds apart or you live in different worlds, whatever the situation here, Virgo. I mean, I I do feel like this person's going to try, though, and but it's more so because they don't want anyone else to have you. They don't want anyone else. They don't, yeah, they don't want you to be snatched up. But it's like, yo, you, if you had that person, they were there willing, motivated, and wanting to be with you, and you treated them bad, then, I mean, you know, like, what are you going to do? I mean, it, like, you, if you let them go, that's 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 on you buddy <laughs> that's kind of how i feel your energy is with this person here you know you you had your shot you didn't shoot your shot that's what i'm hearing i don't know maybe somebody plays basketball or something somebody didn't shoot their shot when the opportunity came and it was a missed opportunity now they're pissed about it or they're just kind of like um no i want to give it a chance now i want to try but why because you walked away because it's done because it's not going to happen, because like you're done. I mean, maybe you're not done, Virgo. Maybe you're just done right now. Like, I don't know what your situation is, but it, it's kind of like, I don't know, Virgo. I feel like, especially for the ladies or, you know, the feminines, I should say, I, I feel like you got your bikini on and you're just, maybe you're, you're just walking out the door. Some of you and not all of you. Um, or you're just dressed in a particular way and you're like, uh -huh, look at you lost, shaking your booty. You're being very petty. <laughs> Virgo, are you being petty? I know not all Virgos are petty, but yeah, Virgo's like, I'm out of here. Nope, I'm getting out of my comfort zone and doing me, doing me. Yeah, and this person is like, oh, no, you're not. Gosh, the air conditioning's on. I'm freezing. No, you are not. I'm going to come I'm gonna come out of my comfort zone. I'm going to travel to see you. Or I'm going to come to your house, and I'm going to pick up you and whomever else. And, you know, I'll take you guys out to eat. Or, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this. Or I'm just going to come and get you. We'll get an Uber or something. And we're going to go, like, let's go talk. I want to try to sort things out. You know, I know this is a transition I've needed to make for a long time and I'm ready to I'm ready to do it okay so I feel like this is kind of a repeat story here from this person so definitely between this time you're listening to this reading through July 
um, if you haven't made a decision to walk away and <clears throat> to put an end to something and you do it now, this is the energy. If you've already made this decision to walk away and you haven't heard from this person, I don't really feel like this is going to be the reading for you because I, this feels more like a um, reactionary kind of thing. Like it's almost as if you are like, I'm out, I'm done. And then all of a sudden somebody's like, when enough time goes by, they're kind of like, oh, wait, where's Virgo? Is Virgo really done? Virgo is done. Where is Virgo? I haven't heard from Virgo. So it's a little bit reactionary. And this is someone who's kind of like grasping at straws here, you know, um, grasping at straws. Okay. So yeah, this person, it's like you abandon them or something, or at least maybe they they feel that way, that you're just walking away. But understand too, this is a card of temporary separation. So this person isn't sure if you're gone for good um, or if it's just a timeout. Because it did say a timeout, you do have the clock. Um, you might have blocked them. I feel like this person is, they're not sure if you're coming back or not. So they're kind of like, I don't know, they're panicking a little bit here. I feel like this like panic mode like well who's Virgo talking to like their tricks are being played in their head about what's going on like are you are you really gone or are you gonna come back are you coming back is Virgo coming back wait no I gotta make sure let me reach out to Virgo let me try to like communicate with Virgo and see let me see let me see there's some type of communication like a you know there's a phone call of some sort look at this this person's got the four of pentacles yeah and they are holding on for dear life they will be holding on for dear life and like there is absolutely no way this person is going to be willing to let you go but like i said it feels like it's very ego driven <laughs> well yeah, you know what you know what I, I just like i don't even know i, I don't even know I don't he just shows up all the time king of swords every single like is it getting it's almost it's almost hysterical now it's so crazy that it's funny at this point that this king of swords keeps showing up <laughs> Gebra, uh, Gebra. Libra Gemini Aquarius okay so yeah this is the this is the one you're dealing with this this king of swords Libra Gemini Aquarius and I don't feel like it's anybody else but Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. If you want to make it somebody else, go ahead if this is your story. But this is an air sign. Definitely. If another court card shows up, come. it shows up. This person is like feeling so insecure right now. Because you dropped a bomb on me, baby. You dropped the bomb on me. Virgo, it looks like this person, <laughs> they're in dire straits. Because you just, you pull, you're pulling a tower moment on this person. In June, yeah, you have here well, in this reading, but yeah, June, July, you're pulling a tower moment. You're just tear. What's that song? No, they just gave me another song. Hold on. Burning down the house. <laughs> That's two songs, okay? Join House of Jukebox. Lots of fun. Burning down the house. Um, yeah, Virgo. Not literally, figuratively. Please don't burn this person's house down. Um, so yeah virgo i just kind of feel like this person is they're definitely going to be communicating they have that eight of swords there so they're going to play a little bit of the victim too like oh yeah my stove caught fire i don't have a stove can i come bake a cake at your house <laughs> like i have an issue you know um with that tower like something happens if whether it's i don't feel like it's true i feel like maybe it's a half truth it's kind of made up but it's like a victim thing like you know um reach out to you and just kind of be like oh you're not gonna believe this like i broke my femur i broke my leg i broke my wrist playing basketball don't you feel sorry for me i need kisses and boo-boo kisses and hugs Virgo. oh virgo mm. I mean, does the King of Swords even do that? It's like, come on. Give me a break. Feel sorry for me. Oh, I need a little love and care. You know what, and Virgo, you are that person that will, will bandage somebody right up and you know, you'll help them out and you'll you'll write out their medication days, they gotta take it, and you'll you'll drive them to the hospital, or you do all that stuff, Virgo. But when someone treats you like shit, Virgo, you are like 
I ain't your nurse. <laughs> when someone's treating you bad, you know, I don't know what why you put the coffin in the or the nail in the coffin here with someone. Obviously, they're showing up here as a grim grim reaper, you know. Um so, you know, it, 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 whatever exactly happened, I mean, I guess I could ask what happened. What did this, what happened in this relationship that this thing ended? I'm just curious. I know like some of you are like, I already know. I don't need to know. All right. Ten of Cups. Clarify the Ten of Cups. What happened here? That Virgo is like, this person is, this person is crazy. They're trying to take me to my deathbed. The Grim Reaper comes. Like you're put you're being the Grim Reaper, especially here. You know, the Grim Reaper was like the the ghost of death, you know, with the coffin. Like Virgo, you're showing up as a Grim Reaper as well. Like, no, it's over. It's done. I see. This person's getting like flashbacks, like in Scrooge. <laughs> what was the what was the last ghost that came? Um the ghost of Christmas past or something. It shows it shows this person their whole past and they're like, oh I gotta do it, I gotta do it. Okay, why did why did this thing why did this thing end? What happened with Virgo and this person? Oh page of swords. Okay. Jealousy, gossip, BS in the family, um harsh words, fighting maybe arguing um maybe you're not done virgo maybe you're just like i'm done right now <laughs> i'm not talking to anybody right now um could have been issues with a child you know fighting over a kid as well issues with it with something to do with a kid but this mostly looks like someone's spying or prying or you know trying to get some truth not trusting, being just kind of nasty. That page of swords can be like a a, a rebellious teenager kind of attitude, you know. Let me see here. Another clarifying card. Just some argument or accusations being made as well. Oh, there you go. There you go. Someone accusing another person of cheating or finding out somebody was cheating or being deceptive in a relationship. There you go. There you go. Finding something out, either accusing or finding out about some deception or trickery or lies or somebody stealing something along those lines, whether it was in the relationship between you and this person or stealing from other people or family or stealing from a kid or something. There's just definitely this Virgo's like F out of here. Virgo's like F out of here. Uh, don't you come back here without that bloody stump. Keep it moving. Yeah, Virgo, you're kind of like, I don't know. <laughs> I just don't feel like you are having it. You're just not having it. Talk to the hand. Go talk to somebody else. Okay. So you got the Queen of Cups. So, you know, there could have been a Queen of Cups involved in this situation as well. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces could have been the person. Although, I, you know, the King of Swords showed up. So I do feel like that's the major, the main key player here. So this Queen of Cups may have been um and uh played had a supporting role there might have been like some trickery or deceit or something found out with another person where there was like some kind of fantasy cheating or something like that going on um at least that's what i'm seeing here with a queen of cups or someone who wasn't going to commit or didn't want to commit and they were busy sneaking around as well that kind of thing going on Whew, virgo can't we just have nice things? Virgo's like, can't we just have nice things? Can't can't we just be happy? Can't we just all get along, be happy, and have nice things, and not, you know, Virgo, you found something out online. You saw something online. Yeah. Now somebody was like, somebody ghosted you. You wanted to know why, and then you find out that maybe they were talking to somebody else, or something else was going on. They were either talking to a King of Swords, or they were talking to a Queen of Cups. You can reverse the the genders there, but yeah, you saw you looked down on your laptop or you got got that email. And you're like, what the hell is this? Somebody texted you and told you somebody was messing around. You got word. Yeah, it looks like you're you're just like no, 
I like I can't say for sure that because this is only like in this month period that you're ending this for good, but you're ending this for July, the end of June and July. And Virgo's like, you're just putting somebody on the back burner. You're putting somebody in, t in time out. You, you put that last nail in the coffin there. You're not opening that up. And if you decide to later, that's going to be up to you. Um, but you're just like, no, not having it. Okay, so you've got, yeah, see, there's a lot of, there's a family marriage connection here. Some type of connection here. Um, between friends, um, the, the person you were with might have had some kind of reunion or got together or was doing something, maybe just talking to somebody online and doing the whole fantasy thing, you know, sexting and all that, you know, send me pics kind of bullshit, you know, and with somebody else. I feel like you find something or you found something um, or you just see something and you just or somebody shows you something and it's like, no, you're done, right? And this is the 1111 here. So let me see. Tell me more about this person. Like, what are they going to do? Because I do feel like they're going to try reactionary to just kind of reel you back in and just try to tell you it's not what you think or that's not. Oh, oh, we're just friends. You say he's just a friend. You say he's just a friend. Oh, baby, you, you got what I need. <laughs> I need to stop. Okay, so what the heck was his name? I got it on the tip of my tongue. I can't remember. He's dead now, isn't he? I think he passed away. I got it on the tip of my tongue and I can't remember. But um, yeah, Virgo. So I just kind of feel like I don't see divorce or anything like that. So if you're married to this person, um, if you're if you're married, I, I do see there's a separation. I'll tell you that. I see you just kind of separating. Like, I need a time out. I need to like go refresh. I need to go powder my makeup, powder my face, and shut the door. And you need to leave me alone because I need to figure some stuff out here, right? You're just Virgo. I just feel like you're just pulling away, even if there wasn't actual physical cheating or anything like that there, there is some kind of deception though but listen this is the eight of cups so i'm sorry the seven of cups so this is kind of like up in the cloud and i keep getting like finding pictures on the cloud or something or some kind of like exchanges you know um this is not real life right that the seven of cups is just always like fantasy okay um uh, now, if you're if you know that your person like you actually caught someone like you saw them together in bed or something like that, then that that's your truth, and you need to hold on to that. But if you didn't see that, but you saw like or you have a hunch or you see some stuff going on that's kind of seven of cupsy, like where it's like kind of up in the air and it's hidden, like you know it's like some hidden stuff going on here. Look, then I feel like that might just be enough for you here to just be like you need to back the car out of the driveway turn it around and get going like if that's your situation so you can figure it out um let me see you might have said something to this person or asked them what the hell is this shit that kind of thing and their response yeah she's just a friend he's just a friend it's not what you think yeah some shady stuff some shady stuff so i like virgo that you are um gonna think things through and try to figure out like what you're gonna do here about this situation but you have pretty much locked the door and threw away the key in the reading so if you haven't already done it definitely doing it um let's see what else this person's gonna do coming towards you here okay let me try again i love you I want to commit, um, I want to go to counseling. I'm going to try to talk about this. I mean, we, even with the three of pentacles, this is like working together, teamwork. This can be a card of marriage, you know, um, and the ace of cups is, you know, like trying to bring that blessing here to have like a potential new start. I like, I feel like, you know, is this person really sincere? That's my question. Cause I kind of feel like, they don't really expect you to just bolt. <laughs> it's a lightning bolt. Yeah, because I feel like you do. I mean, maybe you're reactionary and then they're reactionary. OK, 
okay look at the lightning bolt i feel like you bolt you know and i don't feel like they expect you to to do that so they're gonna just try to save face and come back in um and i do feel like they are gonna try to tell you you know let's try to work on things let's see what we can like create here let's see what we can build together with the three of pentacles you know let's see what we can try to work out try to work it out please i love you that kind of thing so i mean virgo if you love this person you know it's like i always say i mean uh, you all have your own how many you know three strikes you're out two strikes you're out one strike you're out i'm not telling you how to live your life but some of you might be like, all right, you really effed up and you're going to have to come clean and you're going to have to like really like if I'm going to trust you again, like I'm going to need to know where you are, who you're talking to. Like this person has to earn your trust back. That's it. And anybody who and if anybody tells you I'm not doing all that, like you should just trust me. You'd be like, goodbye. Because <laughs> if they lied to you, if they if there was deceit, um, they you know, you got to trust your intuition because you know they might try to turn around blaming on you if you weren't looking through my stuff you're always looking through my stuff or you never trusted me from the beginning well you know what i say to that trust has to be earned with every person you meet absolutely why should we just trust anybody we trust god we trust spirit right but we, you don't just trust people out of the blue like what are you crazy that's insane you just don't do that people got to prove that they're trustworthy that's why when you join um uh, when you get a job and you join a company, they put you on probation for the first 90 days before you get the goods, like all the benefits, because they want to see if like you're for real about this, you know? So what are you out here giving all your trust to somebody just because they tell you they love you? And now, especially, you know, if they if they, the trust was broken or they proved themselves to be kind of shady or something else going on or they're giving the half truth or not being real with you and they want to come back in, yeah, you got to demand the digits, demand all the passwords and if they they're not willing to do that out the door because the onus is on them they got to prove it you know what i mean so that's my thing Virgo. that's just how i feel all right so i do feel like they are going to try to do that but i, I kind of feel like for you you're just like you know what just get i just need to be alone right now because you might need to like kind of sort things out in your head like you're trying to get some peace here in june and july and just kind of be in this place of like i need to get balanced i need to balance my emotions here i need to figure out what i'm going to do how i'm going to deal with this how i'm going to approach this i'm not going to say uh, i don't ever want to see you again even if you did say that it's just this time out for you you know um so you can figure out what you want to do and this is going to have this person on pins and needles because you're leaving this element left where there's no guarantee you're not guaranteeing anything <laughs> you're leaving this like door open in the sense of like well actually the door's closed but you're leaving it cracked so they don't know whether you're going to come back or not and it's making them nuts it's it's totally making them nuts like they could actually lose you and and you know what virgo you may need to just you know keep leaving them in that position if they were doing what they were doing let them stew let them marinate in that uh shit dressing overnight in the freezer or in the fridge let it get real cold so this person can like come like realize i feel like that's something either you're gonna do or you will do but i do know for sure right now this is about getting your equilibrium here and stabilizing so you can like you know think straight or figure out what you want here okay so the page of pentacles is in the reverse so you're definitely not you don't have this person on any kind of pedestal you're not you know you're not looking up here like oh okay well maybe we can do this maybe we can do that no you're kind of like i'm not even thinking about it yeah not even thinking about it you're kind of more in this energy of like um this person's a troublemaker they're making trouble this person's making trouble in my life they're not bringing peace and harmony and good benefit they're making they're causing trouble in my life i i have things to take care of i don't i shouldn't have this kind of stress the only thing like i feel like virgo your your whole thing is like you know it's not like they're leaving the tooth 
toothpaste cap off or the toilet seat up or, you know, making you do all the laundry or just forgetting to text you back. And like those little things that we stress, this is big stuff. You know, this is like you shouldn't be stressing over these big problems like this. I mean, it, the, the only thing you should be stressing over in any kind of relationship with someone are the, the little stupid quirks, you know, um, like if you tell someone, you know, I like my light bulbs clean, <laughs> you know, I'm kidding. I'm not going back down the light bulb road. But like if you if you're just like the little things, you know, like somebody leaves their clothes on the floor and you're always having to pick up like these are just the, these are just the everyday human things, the mundane stuff that it's like, Ugh. but I love this person. It's not worth getting in an argument over the fact that they keep leaving their underwear on the couch. Like that's not worth the fight. It's weird, but it's not worth breaking up over. But to have someone do some kind of majorly deceptive kind of stuff, these are not problems problems you should be worrying about in your relationships. Like I said, at the height of your problems with this person should be they left they left the cap off the toothpaste and they keep doing it. That should be the extent of your problems. If you're having like someone that you're involved with where there's abuse, so there's cheating or lying and all these major issues, these are not compromises that need to be made. <laughs> This is not, you can't apply the formula. Oh, I love this person, so it's not worth breaking up over. Hell yeah, it is. If somebody's lying and cheating, if you own a store and somebody keeps coming back in and they're they're stealing from your store, you're going to kick them out and you're going to lock them out or maybe press charges and they can't come back in again. And they're going to have to pay restitution. You know what I mean? So I hope you're not going to let anybody back in really quickly. Or I hope you're not just going to overlook it. I really don't feel like you are. I feel like your energy is more like, now this person's a troublemaker. I don't need the hassle. I can do, I can make my own trouble in my own life, but I'm choosing not to because I'm trying to be in a more balanced, stable energy. And maybe I want to just see who else is out there and date other people, you know, right now, or just disconnect. Okay. Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords. Oh, the Ace of Swords. Yeah, this person's going to be coming in fast, trying to talk you out of whatever you're doing. Virgo, you might go into a little bit of silence, and that might even make them even more crazier because they're going—they might try to accuse you of stuff. But I do feel like they're going to come in with this Ace of Swords, like, "Hey, you know, try to cause some more conflict," because they're going to get mad. Um, they're going to get. They're going to get. Wait, do you see? You step back long enough, you give people enough rope, and they'll hang themselves with it. So if you step back along long enough and not let them know what you're doing, and just kind of dip out, you know, close the door, um, let them think about their past. Because people like they, as soon as somebody abandons somebody, then all of a sudden they come running back like right away. But it's just to save face. It's not because oh, I've learned my lesson. They haven't learned anything. They just don't want you to go away. They just don't want you to get away. People don't really come to terms with, holy shit, this is for real, until a long time. It takes a while because that energy has got to kind of flow into someone. So if somebody's gone, you know, or if you walk away and you go no contact and this person's like desperately trying to get a hold of you and doing all that, and then you give in right away, you're going to find that if you go back with them that quickly they're going to just do the whole same thing again because now that you've you've taught them that all they have to do is put up enough of a fight and you'll take them back and then they'll just keep repeating it like you need to be gone or at least be willing to leave and you need to like not let them know if you're coming back or not <laughs> they gotta marinate in that shit dressing in the fridge virgo absolutely all right so you have the chariot and the hierophant yeah look at that that's crazy um so pretty much virgo it's like stick to your guns that's what i'm hearing this journey this path that you're on right or you will be taking in july um stick to your guns here virgo that's a message don't give in so if this person comes back and they're just trying to like reel you back in because they don't want you to go stick to your guns virgo Stick to your guns because they are, I feel like it's a real short message as far as the tarot goes, but I feel like this is what, this is what they're going to be doing. Okay. This is just it. They're going to definitely try and kind of reel you back in because 
you can't get away. They don't want anyone else to snatch up. That's not a reason to be in a relationship. <laughs> okay. Territorial people. I don't know who your person is, but definitely territorial. Okay. Put away the computer. Working less will help strengthen the relationship. Some of you need to get off the computer. Um, if you're looking at this person, stop doing that. Okay, this person is secretly longing for you. I'm telling you. They will be, especially when you let them go. Okay, your true love is already part of your life. Here and now. So for somebody, this is your person. This is your true love, or at least you think it is. And um, they just they just need to see some boundaries, Virgo. You know, if you want to end, if you want this to be done forever and ever, yeah, it's completely up to you right and if you don't then you need to set boundaries if you're going to try to make something work here denial detached would love to clearly see the truth i feel like for some of you who might want to work things out with this person um you may need to keep going with this time out so you can like let the dust settle right to see if this relationship can stand the test of time or if this person's seriously going to be able to do it or if you're both just on different pages right this is kind of like a timeout and do kind of a reevaluation. like is this even worth it you know is this and is this person like wait for them to try to come back in and really make changes i feel like it's going to be a little bit of a while for them to really kind of wake up and be like oh shit i learned my lesson you know um people don't learn the lesson that quick some people don't learn their lesson at all and they just go on and keep repeating lessons or repeating the same thing but this is about you and i feel like for you you just really need to get yourself or keep keeping yourself in this not letting one hand know what the other hand's doing meaning you and this person just no formal decisions as far as you're concerned you're busy smelling the flowers virgo and loving yourself and that's all that matters and whatever they decide to do they're going to just have to show up and show it okay so you know sweet text message coming in from this person a little bit of like a um, little bit of i love yous here and there okay but karma justice is served remember that thing that you're sweating whatever you're sweating here virgo if you're sweating this situation or not don't worry um things will work out in your favor whatever your favor is okay it, but your favor will be you're not going to be suffering that's for sure okay you're not going to be suffering at the end here. Karmic justice. Um, this is cause and effect. And the truth coming out. So, you know, cause and effect is basically like um, for every action, there's a reaction. And this action you're taking to just kind of be like <laughs> deflate the balloon and just fly off into the sky and not let this person know. They have no idea where you're going to be landing. That's that's what they're gonna have to like sweat it out, okay? Because now it's it's this is this really just feels like you're freeing yourself so you take your power back. Now you're not at the mercy of this person as far as how the relationship will go or how it won't go. Now they're at your mercy because they don't know. And I know some of you are like, but they're gonna go on to somebody else. Um, <laughs> nobody's like you virgo just remember that popular social female you're the one that's heavily wanted not this person you just think that they are because you had them on a pedestal or you thought they were so great but you're the one that is so great it's actually the reverse it's actually the other way around um and if your self-esteem is low you're not going to believe that and if you put this person up on a pedestal or you thought they were the greatest thing you might have also thought that everybody wants them but they don't not everybody does it's just you but you are the okay so you're like well then if they if i'm such a great thing why were they talking to somebody else or why were they doing what they were doing because they're low in self-esteem because they're low on the totem pole people who are low in that area that's what they'll do people who have confidence and self-respect don't treat other people like shit dressing <laughs> okay they sleep around they do whatever they're scavengers they're like rats they're like fleas they're like amoebas on fleas on rats okay victory recognition applause see you're the one that's listen virgo chin up buttercup you're the one that's wanted you may not feel like that right now and that's fine maybe you got some like healing to do that's fine 
but you're special, Virgo. This person's special, like Special Olympics. Special. And I don't, please don't take that in the wrong way, because I know some of you might have kids that are disabled. Um, I'm certainly disabled. Um, so I will say for you, Virgo, that, um, yeah, don't let anybody see you sweat. Let this person sweat. If they're going to be cheating or dancing around the pole or watching somebody else dancing around the pole or, or treating you bad um, or disrespecting you, um, do your thing. Do your thing. Don't waste time. Let me see the Chinese signs. All right, let me see. Virgo's Chinese sign and this person's Chinese sign. Hello. Oh, yeah, you can come out anytime you want. Rooster. You're the rooster. Year of the ox. Year of the dragon. Year of the goat. Year of the monkey. Year of... Yeah, we have the ox again. Year of the tiger. Year of the rabbit. And year of the pig. So that could be you. That could be the other person. You, both of you, none of you, don't sweat it. Just stay focused on the message. All right, let me see. <clears throat> Let's see what your names and randoms might be here for Virgo. Okay. Hmm, someone works in the medical industry or healthcare. Okay. We have Andrew, picking up the name Andrew. And, um, <clears throat> hmm. Oh, we have the uh, initial S, someone's initial S. Okay, somebody smokes cigarettes or cigars. Maybe they vape. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Somebody's name is Bunny. Somebody's name is Bunny? Like a bunny rabbit? Bunny? Funny bunny? Okay. I did. They just said, tell. I see a, a brother, sister getting together with their kids. Okay. And I'm picking up the name Josh or Joshua. Could be a place or somebody's name, Josh or Joshua. Um. Somebody's getting like a head massage, head and neck massage, or going to get one, head and neck massage. I could use one of those right now. Let me just tell you what. Oh, Suzanne. I just heard Suzanne or Susan. And I just heard Steve or Steven. And... Mm, Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. So, okay. Somebody's going to bring you half a dozen roses. Or you're going to give somebody half a dozen roses. It's not 12. It's not a dozen. It's like I, I, half, I halfway love you. I don't fully love you. I halfway love you. What the hell is that? Like if you're going to get somebody a half a dozen roses, you just get them 12 roses. Like don't be a cheapskate. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm also seeing a fire pit, hanging out at a fire pit over the weekend, maybe, or this week, or maybe toasting some marshmallows over a fire pit, doing some s'mores, that kind of thing. Um, oh, someone's from Jersey, holla, Jersey, New Jersey, dirty Jersey, the armpit of America. Jersey. Okay, let me see. Somebody works in uh, Triple X. Something with Triple X. I don't know if it works there or drives past a place that's Triple X or something to do with Triple X. You know, who knows? Maybe it's a name of something uh, or a band or something. Triple X. They just keep saying that. And, uh, Hmm. 
They're saying there's like a secret. Somebody has a secret. Oh, some of you, Virgo, you're going to be like meeting somebody as well, connecting with someone. Um, you might even fall in love. So go back to yesterday's reading, the one right before this with the singles reading. You had somebody coming in. Okay. Um, there's an ex secret exchanging of gifts. Um, there is... There, okay, I'm just going to put this out here. Some of you do have a secret desire to heal this relationship. For there to be uh, falling in love again or the resurgence of this romantic relationship to come back around. And for there to be forgiveness. That's okay. You can want that. You, that's part of your healing process. That's not wrong. You can feel that and you can be pissed off at the same time. Okay? So don't like deny your feelings if you really love this person but they treated you like shit you can feel both ways at the same time <laughs> that's part of your healing process some days you're going to miss them some days you may want to you know maybe you pray for them or you might want to have this healing and then the next day you're hating their guts and you're just talking shit about them you know <coughs> excuse me that's normal that's the roller coaster of healing okay so you know if you have this guard up and you don't want to admit that that's part of your healing process too um part of your protection right there is keeping your guard up sometimes forgiving someone that hurts us you know it's a noble feat it's a big deal but sometimes you're just not ready sometimes you just want to stay in your anger because your anger protects you in some way you know what i mean blocking so if you're feeling this kind of like just to yourself like yeah kelly's right i do kind of feel that way but i don't want to let myself feel that way because i might cave or i might give in so i'm staying angry i hear you do what you gotta do okay that's all i'm saying capiche that's what i'm saying okay so that's kind of like a little secret between me and you and you don't have to say anything you can keep that to yourself um all right here's gemini twice and taurus and scorpio okay so we've got the number 208 we have 993 we have 810 and 57, okay? So I don't know if those numbers resonate for you. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. All right, let's see, Virgo birthdays. Okay, August 23rd. Um, we have September 3rd, September 5th, September 10th, September 11th and the 16th. And also picking up someone is 53 and also someone is born in 1970. Okay, let's see. And also I wanna look and see what your person's birth date is. Okay, they just said Okay, some of you, your person's birthday is on the 8th, also the 18th, the 10th, the 6th, the 4th, the 1st, the 14th, the 19th, okay. And we also have someone um, who is 40 years of age, someone is 64, someone is 41, um, someone is 48, 49 and someone's born in 1988 okay let's get your charms Virgo charmy charmy charms I'm so beat I went to the pool today and I worked out in the pool and I, the sun ugh, I'm gonna be hitting the hay really really soon like I probably won't even be in this reading while you guys are listening so I'll be snoozing I'll be snoozing Oh, wow. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> so you've got like cute little musical instrument, a stringed instrument, and a pair of 
white pants with a heart on it. Okay, so, okay, someone's a cardiologist or works in cardiology. Like, I feel like this is a pair of scrub pants. Maybe you work for like some kind of, I don't know, heart place or something. Or heart can represent, you know, like a um, hospital, I feel. Um, yeah, that, that feels like very, like a hospital vibe there with that. Okay, those little heart pants. I feel like they're scrubs. Now, maybe you just have a pair of white pants that have this cute... I know some of, the, some of the guys in the chat probably have a pair of white pants with these little red hearts on it. That's all right, you guys. Do your thing. We're proud of you. Virgos are rebels. And then with this musical instrument, um, I was going to say someone wears their heart on their sleeve, but that's not really a sleeve. That's a pant leg. So I don't know what's going on there. Um, but the musical instrument, somebody might play a musical instrument. I don't know. That kind of looks like a bass or one of those old-fashioned guitars. See me? You see it? I really can't tell. It's a charm. It's not real, y'all. So there's some type of music. Um, hold on a minute. I don't know. Some of you go to like, or let's see a show, maybe like some kind of music. Um, show of some sort musical or a rock band or a show and like you I don't know like you love the pants that they're wearing or maybe they see you and they somebody you meet like a celebrity like in a rock band or if you're going to some kind of show you meet this person and they're like hey like you get a backstage pass or something like hey I really like your pants man <laughs> Except for Oris. Oris doesn't wear pants, so he probably plays his guitar. And um, why am I picking on you? Because he's a pain in the butt. The stuff he says. I see you in the chat. I see the stuff you say. Anyway, let's go on to the next charm. I feel like I wanted to do another one. Okay. Mm, that's weird. All right. Well, I'm just going to make that the last one because um, somebody's got a poodle. All right, yeah, we got a poodle here. So either that's you, but this does represent to me um, kind of like dressing fancy, dressing up. This is like, um, what's the word I want to say here? Like grooming. Uh, they're giving me the word grooming. Maybe someone's a dog groomer or you get your dog groomed. Or maybe this Grim Reaper was a groomer. Like they try to groom you into love or something. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that statement, but I hope not. If that's the case, don't even go back. But, um, yeah, somebody might work with pets or get their dog groomed or they have a poodle. But you might be, like, doing some grooming yourself, um, too. Like, getting getting yourself, like, aesthetically doing some grooming for yourself. Maybe you're just brushing your hair as you're listening to this or doing something with your hair or shaving. Or some of y'all might have, like, a, just running a comb through your beard as you're listening. Okay, so I'm going to leave that message there. That wasn't a very spiritual message um, with the dog and the weird pants, but hey, it is what it is. So yeah, um, so if you guys go over to my website, moonpytarot.com, you want to book a reading with me, I think it still says only accepting past clients. Just ignore that. I, I went on and checked on it today, and I'm just like, why is that still on there? I, I did remove it, but it looks like it didn't come off. So if you are trying to book a reading with me, go right ahead and book it. I'm accepting new everybody and I'm going to run a special in July for new new clients those of you who have never had readings with me before but I'll make that announcement later <clears throat> um you can also book with Brandy she's got way more opening she's got night evenings open and also I'm going to be bringing somebody else on so if you we have a young crowd here. Um, I do have someone who's going to be in like her 20s. Um, if you want to just try to connect with someone who's in their 20s, um, that will be able to um, kind of just be on your level. If you're in your 20s, you don't want to talk to us old ladies. That's fine. And um, if you're a guy and you're um, trying to book a reading with um, one of the 20-year-olds, um, don't. <laughs> don't you come to me or brandy all right you guys so i will speak with you all i'll see you back here tomorrow i hope you have a great night to make good choices be healthy happy and i will see you all later
that I live.